Today we're going to show you how to replace the 5G antenna on the iPhone 13 series. We received an inquiry about this repair from our student Nathan and decided to make this video tutorial to help him out. Nathan took our master cell phone and tablet class recently and called to ask if we can help him change the 5G antenna on an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Thank you for reaching out Nathan and we hope this helps you complete the repair. Step one is to apply flux on top of the antenna flex and then apply solder with the soldering iron on the gold square. While the solder is melting, we start to slowly move the antenna with our left hand until it feels loose. When it is completely loose, we remove the antenna slowly, but remember to always keep the soldering iron on top of the antenna so that the solder remains melted. If we remove the soldering iron without having completely removed the antenna, we could damage the pads on the motherboard. Now we clean the pads with the soldering wick and followed by a dab of alcohol. It's time to install the new antenna. In this scenario, the best practice is to replace the antenna with a new one versus using a pull from another iPhone. It saves you lots of time. We put flux and low temperature solder on the pads and follow through with the solder wick. This cleans out the area and preps it for an easy antenna installation. After this, we clean once again with alcohol. Now we remove the sticker under the new antenna and align it. Make sure to use tweezers with bent tips and hold the antenna to align it properly on all four corners. We apply heat at 350 Celsius and solder the antenna. After this, we remove the heat and continue holding it with the tweezers until the motherboard cools down. The next step is to check each pin of the antenna to make sure it is completely soldered. How do we do this? We use this reference chart and verify with the multimeter in diode mode that we have the same or similar readings. We place the red probe on ground and then check that we have the readings from the chart. As you can see, pins 9, 2, and 4 are giving an OL reading. OL means that these lines are not making contact with the motherboard. In this case, we need to apply heat again. We apply flux, but this time we hold the antenna on the center of the gold square. Here we have to be careful not to apply too much pressure with the tweezers, or we can spread the solder to different lines and create a short circuit. We apply heat at 350 Celsius, and then place the tweezers back on each of the four corners and apply heat once again. We check our readings once again, and now we are getting all the readings that correspond to the chart. If this video has helped you, please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.